Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my Crafty Corner. Today something a little bit different. We're not working with paper. Today we are stamping though and we're going to be making some really beautiful clay tile coasters that are inexpensive, easy to make, and make something really useful and beautiful at the same time. Let's go see how we make these. Alright, these are so easy to do. You can pump a whole bunch of these out, make them in sets of four, six, or eight, give them to your friends for gifts, for birthdays, for Christmas, for hostess gifts if you get invited to someone's house for dinner. These are really fast to make and they're really beautiful and appreciated. Coasters are something I think everybody needs, but nobody thinks about needing them until they need them and then they don't have them. So this is a really great way to provide your friends and your loved ones with something that I think is an essential of life. Um, and something really beautiful at the same time. Okay, all you really need to make these beautiful coasters is a couple of things. You're gonna need some tiles, and these are just little four inch tiles, four or six inch tiles, no, these are four inch tiles. Sorry, a little too far. These are four inch tiles and they came from Lowe's. And if you go back in the tile section, you wanna pick something about this size, make sure that it is unglazed because if it's glazed you have to do something completely different and you're gonna have to bake it in the oven and who wants to do that so you're gonna want that so you want to make sure you either put these felt pads on it or these little silicone feet um, these felt pads I think are a little more practical for coasters it makes it nice and smooth and so that's what you're gonna want to get at the at the hardware store and then you're gonna want some archival ink or some ink that is permanent, okay? You do not want to use a water-based ink here because your your pattern that you stamp on is going to disappear as soon as someone puts a wet glass on the coaster, and nobody wants that, so make sure that you get permanent ink. I like this archival ink from Ranger. They have this in several different colors. These are the extra large pads, but they do have it in a smaller pad, and you can also get refills so you can re-ink it when it runs dry. And you're gonna need some stamps. Now today, you see these two stamps that I've already done. These are just stamps out of the $2 bin at Michael's. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you prime your stamps and that means you're gonna run them over the ink pad and you're going to stamp them off several times until the pattern looks really beautiful. The uh, doily pattern that I've stamped here looks uneven because the surface on this tile is uneven. If you look for a tile that has a smoother surface, you're going to get a much smoother pattern in your finished product. But I kind of like the rustic natural look of this because this is the look I'm going for. This music note especially looked really nice because it looked really old and beat up like, you know, a piece of vintage music or something. I'm also going to be using some... Um, these are red rubber stamps. These are all by uh, Seven Gypsies. And these I picked up a Tuesday morning or here and there, wherever I saw them. And I'm also using my Fisker's um, stamping plate. I will put a link down below to where you can get more information. I love this thing because it's got these padded feet and when I use my clear stamps, I'm more easily able to position my stamps and I know exactly where it's gonna be. And if you stamp off wrong, and you have a clear stamp, you can pretty much get the stamp exactly back where it was. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make one. Now, you have to prepare your tile just a little bit, and I'm using an alcohol pad. These are just lens wipes. We call them lens wipes in our house. Um, all four of us wear eyeglasses, so we always have plenty of these on hand, and because these have alcohol in them, you just want to prep the surface that you're gonna stamp on by going over it with the lens wipe. And you should be able to clean a couple of these with one lens wipe. This is gonna get any residual oils or dirt that may be on the surface of that tile off that tile. Then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up our ink pad. I'm gonna go ahead and press on here. I wanna make sure, my ink pad is a little bit older so I really wanna make sure that I get this inked up really well. And there we go. Then you're gonna to wanna to position it where you want it. I'm gonna straighten my tile on the lines of my work surface where you can see it. 
And then this is hovering gently over the tile and all I have to do is press down. And lift up and there you go. Really cute. We'll make another. <clears throat> I'm gonna peel this one off. And if you're using red rubber or clear stamps, this is the best way is you can position them. And I'm gonna do that. And then you can just set this right over the top. Press down and your stamp is affixed. I've got a little glare coming off of my overhead light there. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and ink it up. Make sure it's inked well. Line it up again. And press firmly. Try not to rock it because then you could mess up your print. But make sure that you apply gentle, even pressure on the entire area. Pick it up. Look how cool that looks. I love it. And that is how simple it is. You don't have to, you know, spray these with Krylon or anything. This ink here, these two are dry. It's just going to take a few minutes for everything to dry. And you have a beautiful set of coasters. You can make these all match. You can make them mixed up. You can make them as eclectic or as conformed as you like. So that's how you make really beautiful, functional tile coasters. These, these tiles cost me about 68 cents a piece, if not less. Sometimes you can get them on clearance for less than a quarter. And that's when you stock up on those things and you say, Christmas, here I come. Because through the summer, you can make sets of these. You can tie them up with some really beautiful hemp twine, put them in a pretty box, wrap it up, and who wouldn't love getting this for a gift? I mean, you can get a really good jump start on your Christmas gift making if you use these as an idea for something different to give your friends and family. So I hope you give these stamped coasters a try, and I hope that you love them, and until next time, happy crafting! <laughs>